In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus Cu, that's silver nitrate plus copper. So the first thing that we need to do is write the balanced molecular equation. And that means we're just going to balance it kind of as we traditionally balance equations. So let's see, we have two of these NO3s. So we'll put a two in front of the AgNO3. Now we have two silver atoms. We'll put a two here. So this is balanced, the number of atoms in each type. They're the same on both sides. Next, to write the net ionic equation, we've got to look at the states. So we need to know the states of each one of these substances. It's kind of easy for copper. That's solid copper. It's a metal. And silver, that's also a metal. So those are solids. The AgNO3 and the CuNO3 too, those you either have to memorize the solubility rules and know that nitrates in general are soluble, or you can look them up on a solubility table. So there's a link in the description of this video explaining how to do that. That's an important skill. It turns out that AgNO3 is soluble, so it will dissolve or dissociate in water, and we'll put a little Aq, which means aqueous. It's dissolved in water. Copper nitrate, the same. That's aqueous. It will dissociate into its ions when you put it in water. So we've got the states. Now we can split the soluble compounds into ions. So silver is always a one plus charge, and the nitrate, NO3, it's a polyatomic ion. It always has a one minus charge. Copper, it's not bonded to anything. It's just a solid metal. It doesn't have a charge. It's neutral. Over here, it's bonded to the nitrate. We said the nitrate has a one minus charge, and we have two of them. So we don't know copper's charge because it's a transition metal. It's usually plus one or two plus. But since we know the nitrate and we have two of them, that gives us a total charge of two minus. So this has to be two plus. And then the silver, that doesn't have a charge. It's just a solid by itself. So we have the ions, so we can write the total ionic equation. So we have two Ag plus ions, and I won't write Aq after each one. And we have two NO3, the nitrate, two NO3 minus plus the copper, which we said is a solid. It doesn't have a charge. And let's tighten this up a little bit, give ourselves some room. And on the product side, we have the Cu2 plus, and then the two nitrate ions. 2NO3 minus plus 2Ag. That's silver atoms there. That's the total ionic equation. So at this point, we can cross out the spectator ions. These are the ions that appear on both sides of the equation. The only thing that's the exact same on both sides are these two nitrate ions. Everything else is different. We have the silver ion here. Over here, it's solid silver. So those are different. Here we have the solid copper. This is an ion. At this point, we've crossed out the spectator ions, and we can write the net ionic equation. That'll look like this. So by following these rules, we could write the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus Cu, silver nitrate plus copper. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.